again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with the continuation, part two, of the Pineapple Stitch Blanket. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing well. And we are on row seven. All right, so first things first, we're going to chain up three and turn and just like in the last part, going to do a double V-stitch in the chain one space. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And at the rate that we're currently going, I'm thinking that this tutorial is gonna be three parts long because we've got two multiples for our swatch because I like to be thorough and I like to take my time with you guys. So please be patient with me. So after our double V stitch, the two doubles, chain one, two doubles in that chain one space, we're gonna continue to work on this pineapple here. So chain three, and then into that first chain three eyelet, single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the next stitch and so forth. Chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, and well, we're out of eyelets. So right now we've got one, two, and three chain three eyelets for our pineapple. And then working on over this way, chain three and into the double V we're going to make another double V so into that chain one space two doubles chain one two doubles chain one two more doubles okie dokie now with this chain two space in between our double V's, we're gonna start the, the foundation of another pineapple. So into the chain two space, we're gonna do a single V stitch. So going right in with a double, chain one, double. That's gonna get us started for the next pineapple. And I got a wee bit of a tangle. Bear with me just a moment. There we go. Okay. And then into the chain one space of the next double V stitch, do another double V. So hopping into that chain one space with two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. And we're gonna do essentially the same thing for the rest of this row. There we go. So working our way to the next pineapple, chain three, into that chain three space, single crochet, and then we're gonna create our chain three eyelets. So chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, and single in that last space. So we've got our three chain three eyelets. Chain three. And then into the double V, do another double V. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go. Uh, oh, oh. Uh. Okay, <laughs> then into the chain two space, a single V stitch. So that's double, chain one, double. There we go. And then into the double V, another double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles.
There we go. Working to the next pineapple, so chain three. And into that chain three space, single crochet, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, And then we're going to work our way over. Oh, I almost missed this one. Almost, but not quite. So you got to catch yourself upon occasion. Chain three and single into that eyelet. Okay, now we're going to go over to the final double V. So chain three and into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one two doubles for the double V stitch. Like I always say, I am not infallible. I do make mistakes, but I do try to correct them as I find them. And there we go. So that is row seven. Okay, row eight. Start by chaining up three. And turn the work. Double V in the chain one space right here. So that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go. Chain three. And then into the chain three space, single crochet, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space. And so now we have two chain three eyelets. Okay, working our way over to the next double V, by chaining three, do a double V in the chain one space of the double V, that's two doubles, chain one, two doubles, okay, now we're going to sort of flesh out the single V into a double V. So into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So we're gonna do three double Vs in succession. One after the next. Okay, so we've got our double V in the single V, then going to this double V, and into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. So this is all pretty straightforward. There you go. So as you can see, we've got our three double Vs all in a row looking nice and pretty. From here, chain three, and I'm gonna work on this pineapple now. So into that chain three space, single, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, and there you go. We've got our two chain three eyelets. Working our way over to the next double V, chain three, and into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go. Into the single V, 
two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we are. Pull out some more yarn. Frankly, it's either I pull out more yarn or I pull it out ahead of time and I end up getting tangled and spending time unknotting it. Either way. All right, then into the chain one space, do another double V. So that's two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Here we are, working our way to the next pineapple, chain three, and into that chain three eyelet, single crochet, chain three, single in the next chain three space, chain three, single into the next chain three space, there we are, and then working our way to the last double V. So chain three, and into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles for the double V. And There we go. That is the end of row eight. Very nice. All right, row nine. From here, as per usual, chain up three. And turn the work. All right, then into that first chain one space, another double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, chain three, working our way to the pineapple, single crochet into that chain three eyelet, chain three, and single crochet into the next eyelet. And so now we only have one chain three eyelet at the top of our pineapples. Chain three. Into the next double V, do another double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Okay, now into this middle double V, we're going to create nine doubles for our next pineapple. So right in that chain one space, it is a bit of a tight squeeze, but it does work, believe it or not. So from here, going into that chain one space with nine doubles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and Nine. And yes, I'm going to double count because I always do. There we are. Okay, then from here into the chain one space of the next double V, two doubles, chain one, two doubles for another double V. So it's nice and bookended, so to speak.
there we go. All right, then from here, we have our pineapple down here. So chain three into that first eyelet, single crochet, chain three, and single into the next eyelet, chain three, and then into the double V, the chain one space, another double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles, Okay, now we have the, the center double V, so that's gonna be nine doubles in that chain one space. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, three, six, nine, perfect. Okay, then directly from here into the next double V, another double V in that chain one space. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. Okay, and then pull out a little bit more yarn. And working into the top of this pineapple. So chain three, single into the eyelet, chain three, single into the next eyelet, chain three, and then into the double V at the end, another double V. Two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And there you are. That is the end of row nine. Mm -hmm. Row 10. Okay, again, going to start by chaining up three and turning our work. You guys should know the drill by now. And into that chain one space, another double V, two doubles, Chain one, two doubles. Okay, then chain three. And well, we only have one little chain three eyelet left. So we are still going to do a single crochet into that eyelet, but we have no more eyelets to create. So chain three, working our way to the next double V, and two doubles, chain one, two doubles, there we go, all right, and then working with this fan, this basis for our next pineapple, we're going to still do nine double crochets, but separate them with chain one spaces. So scooting right in to that first double with a double, chain one, and double, chain one, 
and double, chain one, double, chain one, and so forth until we have nine doubles separated by chain one spaces. And that's going to fan them out a little bit more so that we can do our eyelets in the next row. And it's very easy to skip this last double, but don't, don't skip him. He's important too. You want to make sure that you have all nine, otherwise it's going to throw off your count. And that is why I am perpetually in the habit of double checking and double counting my work. So I've got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Awesome sauce. So from here into the double V, another double V with two doubles. Chain one and two more doubles. See, I see nothing wrong or discouraging about ripping out your work if you are testing something out and you're playing around with a new pattern. But if the pattern is already established, you know, and uh, you know what it is that you're supposed to do, but you miscount, oh, that's the bane of my existence. I hate it. So that's why I always double count. All right, so from here, we have to get to this eyelet here. So chain three, and then into that eyelet, single crochet, then chain three, and scoot over to the next double V with two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we are. And then we have to fan out these nine with doubles separated by chain one spaces. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more. Nine. All right. And then another double in the double, as in double V. So two doubles, chain one, two more doubles. There we are. A bit more yarn, but we're almost there. We're in the home stretch for row 10. Okay, so chain three, single into the chain three space, chain three, and into that last double V, another double V, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And there you go, that is row 10. So by now, I'm sure that you can see where we're going because what we're doing, what we just did right there is exactly what we did down here, except that it is offset. So once once you, you know start to uh, see the flow of things, it's like, oh, it makes sense, right? All right, well, let's keep going with row 11. Row 11, okay, chain up three, and turn your work, 
double V into the chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, There we are. Now, from here, we're going to do a hop, skip, and a jump directly to the next chain one space of the double V. So you wanna make sure that when you are doing the double crochet into the chain one space of the next double V, that you want it to be a little bit tight. If not, it looks ungainly. You know, for instance, if I just went about it like this and just sort of scoot it in there, like it looks a little bit unkempt like that, you know? I mean, yes, it's acceptable, but I'm a little bit of a stickler about my, my joins, if you will. So what I try to do is when I do that yarn over, hold it taut, okay, with my finger, and then going in so that there's not as much wiggle room and it's a little bit tighter, looks a little bit neater, you know, at least I think so. You know, it, it takes practice. And then another double, chain one, and two more doubles for our double V. There you go, okay. And then scooting right along, going to chain three and create our first series of eyelets. So into that chain one space over here, single, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next, chain three. And by the end of this, we should have a total of seven chain three eyelets. Dokey. So what do we got? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Awesome. Okay, directly from here, going to chain three and into the double, do another double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And when I say going into the double, I mean into the double V, not into a double crochet stitch. I hope you guys got that. All right, so from there, going to again do a hop, skip, and a jump to the next double V with another double V in that chain one space. Double, double, chain one, Double, double, rubble, rubble, hamburger. There we are. Okay, scooting along to the next pineapple. Chain three, single in the chain one space. Chain three, single in the chain one space, etc., etc., creating seven eyelets for this pineapple. Okay, a couple more to go. And that's it. <laughs> All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect, okay. It's very easy to sort of get lost in the uh, 
the Zen zone. All right, so after chaining up three, then into the chain one space of the double V, another double V. So two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and I'm going to need just a little bit more yarn, just a smidge skin. Okay, so we just did a double V, then doing a hop, skip, and a jump to the other chain one space of the next double V, and going in with two doubles, chain one, two doubles. Two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And there you go. All right, that is the end of row 11. Okay, row 12. Moving on up with a chaining up of three. Turn the work, get the tail out of the way, a little pesky booger. Then into the chain one space, two doubles, Chain one, two doubles, there we go, and then directly into the next double V, we're going to do another double V, so two doubles, chain one, two doubles, There we go. Then working on the next pineapple. Chain three. Single into the chain three eyelet. Chain three. Single in the next eyelet and so on until we have a total of six eyelets. It's two. Three, four, five, and six chain three eyelets. All right, from here, get your tangles out nice and proper. All right. Then chain three, double V into the double V, that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles. There we go. Next double V, another double V, chain one space, two doubles. It's a little bit easier to have a nice tight join because, well, they're already together. Um, it's just that first one's a little bit curmudgeon -y. But right now there's less tension trying to keep them apart. All right, we've got our double V. Then chain three. And we're going to work on this pineapple now. Create some more eyelets. So, into that first chain three eyelet, single, and chain three, single in the next space. So that's one eyelet, chain three, and single, that's two, and three. And four. And five. And six. Okay. 
Smidgen more yarn. Okay, and from here, chain three. Double V in the chain one space of the double V. Two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. And then going directly into the next double V with a double V, two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. And there you go. That is the end of row 12. Okay, row 13. Start off by chaining up three and a double V in the double V. So chaining up a three into that chain one space, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. And then we're going to do another double V into the next double V. So two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. There we go. Then scooting over to the pineapple, chain three, and single into that first chain three eyelet, chain three, single in the next, and at the end of this row, I believe it's going to be five eyelets in total. So we've already got two. three, four, and five. Okay, and then from here we have to deal with our double V's again. So chain three, double V in the double V, that chain one space, two doubles, Chain one, two doubles. Get rid of your tangles. They do love to happen. There we go. Get ourselves all situated here. All right, so got two doubles, chain one, one double. I need one more double. There we go. All right, scooting right along to the next double V with a double V. That chain one space, two doubles. Chain one, two doubles. Chain three, working our way to the next pineapple. That chain three space, single chain three, single in the next space, and that is one eyelet, chain three, single in the next, that's two, chain three, single in the next, that's three, chain three, single in the next, that's four, chain three, single in the next, that's five. Okay, chain three, working our way to our double V's here, into that chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and 
Okay, and then last but not least, scooting right into the next double V with a double V. Two doubles. Chain one. And two doubles. Butter! And there you go. The end of row 13. Alrighty, my dears. So that is going to conclude part two of the pineapple stitch blanket. And as you can see that this side edge, yes, it's going in. That is normal. That is to be expected. This is the edge that we're going for. Uh, and then as we keep going, this is going to balloon outward and create that gorgeous decorative edge. So do not be alarmed because right here, uh, this is going to be the start of the next series of pineapples, which we will be getting to in the next part of this tutorial. As always, I hope that you're enjoying this series and my being thorough and so forth. You know, I don't like to leave you hanging. And so in the next part, we will finish up a, the full repeat. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please do stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.